Ephesians chapter 6, through the Bible. Part 6. Many Christians have a victory over the world. They are marching around Jericho, tooting a horn as the children of Israel blew their trumpets, saying, I don't do this and I don't do that, but they are being defeated by the flesh. They are overcome by temper. They are overcome by gossiping. One Christian man came to me and said, Why in the world is it that I just continue to lie about everything? Well, that's what the flesh will do. The flesh is getting the victory over many of us, my friend. I represents the flesh. Then thirdly, Joshua had to contend with the Gibeonites. They were clever, sly rascals. They lived just over the hill, but they took old, moldy bread and wore worn-out shoes and made everything look as if they had come on a long journey. They came into the camp where Joshua was and said, Brother, we have heard about you. My, we've heard how God delivered you from Egypt and gave you victories over Sion and Og and we want to make a treaty with you. We want to be your friends, Joshua 9 verse 4 to 11. That is the way the devil approaches us. He is the deceiver, and he makes his ministers seem like angels of light. Someone described a leader of a cult by saying, I listen to that man. He is so attractive, so personable. He is really wonderful, and what he says thrills me. Now listen to this and remember it. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works, 2 Corinthians 11 verses 14 and 15. Do you think that the devil is going to knock at your door and say, Look, I'm the devil. I'm here to take you in. I'm here to fool you? Obviously, that is not the way the devil will approach you. He will use every possible way to deceive you. He may send someone to knock at your door and offer you literature that will explain the Bible. Or, he may approach you this way if you are in a church that is going liberal. Remember, Grandpa had a pew in the church and that window over there is named for Grandma. You can't afford to leave this church because you have so much invested here. The Word of God says, Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 17 And the devil says, But we really need you here, so why don't you just stick around? You see, he is subtle. The Gibeonites represent the devil. They fooled Joshua, and he made a treaty with them. They were the ones who got him into trouble. At I, the sin had to be confessed and dealt with severely before God would give them the victory, and that is the way we overcome the flesh. But what about the Gibeonites? Joshua made an alliance with them, and they gave him trouble. If we line up with Satan, we will find ourselves defeated. What can we do? Listen, we cannot overcome him ourselves. You and I are no match for the devil. We are not even told to fight the devil. We are told that God will fight for us. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Ephesians 6 verse 10 Allow me to again use my translation. Finally, in conclusion, be strengthened in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the armor, panoplia, of God in order that ye may be able to stand against the stratagems, methodia, of the devil. For our wrestling is not against blood and flesh, but against the principalities, against powers, against the world rulers of this darkness, against the spiritual hosts of evil in the heavenly places and things. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Ephesians 6 verse 11. What in the world is Paul talking about? He is talking about spiritual wickedness, about that which is satanic. Notice that he is coming to the end of the epistle and says, In conclusion be strengthened in the Lord and in the power of his might. You cannot overcome the devil in your own strength and your own power. 
Paul is definitely making a play upon two Greek words. The panoply of God is needed and available to meet the methodia of the devil. Be strengthened in the Lord. That is the only place you and I get power.